This Tuit skill is in Notebook on graphics and focuses on locking and grouping objects. Sometimes you want to keep an object still and in place and allow other things to move around it and locking will allow you to do that. Also, there are times when you want to have multiple objects grouped together and treat them as one single object. And so that's what grouping allows you to do. So let's take a look and see how these work. I have three tangram triangles up here. Tangrams are part of a puzzle that have different shapes and allow you to move the shapes and rotate them so that they can create a new picture. But you cannot change the size of each of the triangles. So what we're going to do is lock them in three different ways. The first triangle I'm going to select, and you'll notice that it has a resize handle on the bottom, a rotation handle on the top, and a drop-down menu on the top right. So I'm going to choose the drop-down menu, and I'm going to go to locking, and choose the bottom option, which is allow move and rotate. When I select the triangle, you'll notice that it has only the rotation handle and the lock on it. It will not allow me to change the size of it. So I can move the triangle and I can select the rotation uh, handle on the top and I'm able to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it so it is, oh let's say it looks like that. All right. The next triangle, the medium size one, again, I'm going to select the drop down. I'm going to go to locking, and I'm going to allow move. Now, this only allows the move. If I, when I select the triangle, you will see that it has no resize handle, and it has no rotation handle. It only allows me to move it. The third triangle on the bottom, I will bring this up to the center of the page, and I want this one to stay completely still. So I will select it choose the drop down, go to locking, and choose lock in place. In this triangle, when I select it, you notice that I cannot move it and I cannot rotate it. All that it has is a lock button on the top. So I'm going to move the medium sized triangle and I'm going to move the, tall, the small triangle over to here and let's say that that is the shape that I want to have. So that is how locking allows you to move certain puzzle pieces. Now, there are times when you'll want to group some of these together and just move two of them out. Typically, if you're going to group something, you'll want to select them. And notice what happens when I try to select these. They are not selectable. The reason is because they're still locked. So I'm going to select each of the triangles and choose Unlock. And when I do that, it will allow me to group them and do all the other things that I normally can with a standard object. So again, I will start from the outside and continue to select. Now I have both of them highlighted. And you'll notice that there are two drop-down menus. I can choose either one. So I'm going to choose this one and go to Grouping and then choose Group. Now you notice that the marquee selection is slightly changed. And when I move this one object, even though it has two grouped together, it treats it as one object. If I were to move it back and I want to ungroup them, I simply choose the drop down, go to grouping, and then select ungroup. And you'll see that there are two objects there again. But let's say you wanted to have the small triangle and the large triangle. So if I tried to select like this, I could not get them. Or if I tried to select like this, I couldn't grab them. What I can do is press the keyboard down here on the pen tray, press the control key on the virtual keyboard, select one object, then select the next object, and you'll see that both of them are selected. Turn off the control key. I'm going to close my keyboard now. And now I can choose either one of the drop-down menus, and I'm going to go to grouping and then group. And now both of those have turned into one object. But let's say I wanted to have all of those together. Well, I can still select, going from one corner to the other, until I have both of them selected, and choose either one of the drop-downs. And then I can select from either one of the drop-downs the grouping and group this together. Now, this is now treated as one object, and I can move it around. 
I can also size this one object. I can also rotate this one object. In addition, I can also ungroup them, but when I ungroup them, it will ungroup one subset and it will take out that one triangle. If I choose that large grouped object again, I'll go to grouping and then ungroup that, and now I have my three separate pieces again. So that is grouping and ungrouping, locking and unlocking. Now it's time for you to get to it.